Good morning, folks. This is the purpose of this video is to help you to do your works cited page properly. So perhaps you have found a, web, a source that's not on the Tennessee Electronic Library, uh, which is also easy for copying the citations into your um, works cited page, which I'll show you how to do in a moment just to review. But perhaps you found a website that you want to use that's somewhere else, which is fine, um, but you may not know how to cite it. And uh, having someone explain to you how to do that can really help. So let's start by going to the Tennessee Electronic Library. And I'm just going to Google um, Tennessee Electronic Library. So it's possible that your school library has a link to the Tennessee Electronic Library, but if they don't, you can just Google it. And go to go over here to um, the search and you can put in your topic. And I'm just going to put in um, Great Danes. So if I wanted to write a paper about Great Danes and I was looking for some sources, then going to the Tennessee Electronic Library uh, can be a really great resource. And you can find lots of academic journals, books, things in the news, um, and even pictures and videos. So um, it looks like Great Dane is also a company. So that can be um, we have to be really careful. We're going to end up with a bunch of stuff we don't need. So maybe let's put in Great Danes um, dogs. See if that helps us at all. It's great. Like I said, Great Dane is company. Ah, here we go. There's nothing like a Dane. America's top dog. Um, this all looks like good stuff. I'm actually going to click on academic journals um, because those are a little better as far as being using scholarly sources. Grant to benefit dog health studies. Record setting dogs pass away. Oh, giant doggies. So, and like any time that you find a resource, you're going to have to take some time to search for that resource. It's very difficult to click on the first resource that you find and say, oh, this one's just perfect, okay? So let's go back to, I just read through these these are going to be big doggies. Let's look at this one. This is veterinary economics, so that's probably going to be a good source. Guinness Book of World Records, so world's oldest dog, Chanel, and Gibson a Great Dane, stood over 42 inches, and you showed compassion for people, wheelchair. So if you wanted to talk about the size of a specific Great Dane, you might be able to use this source. If you chose to use this source, you've got this really convenient information down here. You, we are using MLA 8th edition, so all you have to do is copy this information and then put it into, um, you know, a works cited. Can I do like a new word? Okay, come on. Okay, there we go, blank document. Okay, so in our blank document, we're going to put works cited in the center, and then on the left, we're going to paste this in. Now, this isn't the right format, but we can change that very easily. Highlight that, go to layout, change the spacing to double, and after, see how that's eight point, we're going to change that to zero. Okay, Ooh, there we go. And in your Works Cited page, you do something called a hanging indent, which means the second line and every line after that of each source is indented. And the perfect space to indent is um, created using your tab button on your keyboard. Okay, so now we have a really great cited source. Man, that was easy. All we had to do was copy it. But it's possible that you're going to find a source that you want to use that's not on the TEL. So let's just Google Great Dane Facts. Okay, so let's see. And I'm right now I'm looking at like, let me go back. I'm looking at what these what these are called, dogtime.com, hillspet.com, akc.org. That's gonna be a good website. Okay, so let's click on that one because that's the American Kennel company or American Kennel Corporation. And that's going to tell us good American Kennel Club. There we go. That's what the C is for. So wow, this is some really great information. Okay. And this is going to be you you probably aren't going to find an author here. 
Uh, but that's okay. You can still use it even though you don't have an author, but you have to have information such as what it's called. The title of this page is just called Great Dane. What the link is, which is right here, who sponsors it, the American Kennel Club. And then if there's a date or anything at the bottom regarding when it was last updated, uh, like see, this is um, 2020. So we can just put 2020 on here. All right. So let's scroll up and see if we can cite this page. I do like this page. It tells us um, what their average height is, what their average weight is, what their average life expectancy is, and that sort of thing. And if we scroll down, we can see that they're given the nickname, the Apollo of dogs. So that would be good information to include in a website, okay? I mean, in a, in a work site, in a, woo, words, in a research paper. All right, so let's go to, this is a link that I've sent many of you, but you can just Google citing online sources. And even if you just Google citing online sources, it's going probably gonna take you to the OWL, the O-W-L, the online writing lab. So if we click on that, that gives us a whole page of information. And this can be a little bit overwhelming. So scroll down until we're told what we need. The author, editor's name, we don't have an author. We have an article name, which is just Great Dane. So that's where we're gonna start. So let's go back to our Word document. So this is going to be Great Dane, period. Okay, so yeah, you have to do this by hand if, unless you're using a website that automatically cites it for you. And that's why I love to give you TEL because TEL automatically cites it for you. And you're gonna have good sources on there because they're academic journals and magazines and things like that. All right, so the title of the website we know is American Kennel Club. As you can see, that goes in italics. See how it's in italics right here? And this is in quotation marks. So American Kennel Club. We're gonna peer, put a period after that. We're going to go back and italicize this. Control I will italicize for you. Any version numbers, we don't have that. Publisher information, we don't have any of that. We do have a publishing date, we found 2020. So we're going to put in 2020 period. Page numbers, we don't have that. A URL, we definitely have that. So let's go get that. Let's go back and grab that. So we're going to pop in here. We're going to control C, which is copy. We're going to go into back into our Word document and paste that in. Okay, there's our website. And we're going to hit period. Now, what, no, that's going to change that to a hyperlink. You can hit control Z and it will change it back to a normal, um, normal text. Or you can right click on it with your mouse and click on remove hyperlink and it will change it back to normal text, which is what you want. All right, then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put when we accessed it. So we're going to put accessed. I remember if we put accessed on or not. Date you accessed the material. Okay, so right here, date of access. This is just um, another format, a way of showing you what you include. And then we have some examples. So I can see access, then we've got day, month, year, and it looks like the month can be abbreviated. So today is uh, November 2nd. So we're day month here, access day month here. We're gonna go back into our Word document, access day month here. So access to November 2020 period. So we had to cite that one for our works cited page on our own, which wasn't, you know, too big a deal. It's not nearly as much fun as just, um, as just, copying and pasting it from the TEL. Now, when you go hit tab here, it's gonna move your whole thing over, which is going to really annoy you. So hit control Z and then, then here's a secret, hit enter and then hit tab. And it won't do that to you anymore. Word is a very automated program and it will do things like that to you. The only problem that we have left here is that Great Dane should come before two record settings simply because the G comes before the T. Uh, so we're gonna copy this information Control, actually, I'm going to cut it. Control X, and then I'm going to go up here and hit enter just to pop this down. Use my arrow key to go back up and hit Control V and paste that in. So now we've got a nice little work cited page. So this was just um, to hopefully help you to not only use TEL and copy information from there, but also to 
use a website that's not necessarily on the TEL. If you can find an author, always put the author as well. Um, you know, if this were written by a person named Mark Johnson, then that would go before Great Dane. Now, if this were written by the um, American Kennel Club staff, you cannot put American Kennel Club staff for your author. Your author has to be a human being. Okay, so you do have to put a person's name there. If you can't find a person's name, you're going to skip over that author and go straight to that article title or the title of the page. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful to you and have a great day.